Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. This is what I found when I came back from one of my longer journeys. Many, many mail packages. So let's start with the opening. is an interesting device. This is an IR camera from DF Robot. I will probably test it later. Next one. These are connectors for 220 volt. They are quite simple. You just press here, put in your wire, and then it's connected. And it's ah, it's uh, very tight. These are with three, and here with two wire connectors. Next one. What is this? Seems to be from Banggood. Oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> uh -huh. And what is it if it's magnetic? Magnets. To be mounted to something you can screw it to your device and then they should be quite strong. Yeah, they are rare earth magnets and they are quite strong. <laughs> Pay attention that we don't bring it in the close proximity of a hard disk otherwise you have no data on it anymore. Next one, it's quite heavy. Let's see what's this. OBDC connected. There is a male and a female OBDC connector and this can be connected to your car. All new cars have an onboard diagnostics connector and I try to do a project you will probably see later on. I also ordered a device to connect this onboard diagnostics to the Arduino board. Next one. Well packaged, not easy to be opened, even not with a Swiss army knife. One point eight inch with an SPI connection. I do not like particularly the SPI connection, I like more the I2C connection, but displays need a certain speed and this is why SPI is probably not bad here. And they are a little bit bigger than the other OLED displays. Because my view is getting worse, I hope I will see it a little better than the other OLEDs. If you compare the display size it is quite a big difference. However, the resolution is similar, so the letters and the numbers should be bigger. Next one. Also well packaged. These are stackable USB connectors. 
one, two, three, four stackable USB connectors. I will not use it as real USB connectors. I just want to build a small power supply and you will see in a one of the next episodes what I will do with that. Next one, quite a big one. Magnets. These are round and have also a hole. Come also from Banggood. And these are bigger ones. one this is a SEPIC converter and SEPIC converters can use an input voltage and reduce the voltage and also increase the voltage. It comes with wires and screws and even <laughs> a very small screwdriver. Interesting device. Next one. This is also from Banggood. You see it always with the SK, SKU number printed on it very neatly. And these are also displays. They are also SPI 128 times 160. They even have a SD card slot but a large one and it's uh, these days it's no more easy to get large one large SD cards so they are a similar size of the other ones it's easier to be mounted because it has no overhang here and here these have overhangs so this is a nice and cheap color display it runs with the Adafruit library With this one also after an hour I was not successful to connect it to a 5 volt Arduino. Googling a little bit uh, showed that uh, it seems that uh, this is a 3.3 volt device but I'm not sure. So I gave up for the moment. I do not recommend it. 
Next big one. I know what's in it because long sticks are always some sort of antennas. Antennas for my future projects with wireless devices. You will see during summer or autumn that I will do some episodes with wireless de devices. You see here low frequency, high frequency. And the last one comes from Sparky Labs in Great Britain. I know what it is. It is post from Australia. It is a microcurrent gold from Dave Jones because Dave does not deliver to Europe anymore directly because obviously he had some problems. He has now a distributor in UK and this is Sparky Labs and I got one of these. Very rare things. Dave unfortunately is always out of stock. What do they do? You can measure very small current with this. You will see this in action with my deep sleep experiments of the ESP8266. Subscriber no, I used one method and this one should be a different method which is more precise. Number 3755. So Dave sold many of these but they seem to be really good devices. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye!